Hey everyone, Luna here, and this week's YouTube Pagan Challenge question is, do you work with crystals? Now my short answer is yes. As you can see, I have many gemstones and crystals, but I don't use them regularly. Uh, here is all of my quartz, and as you can see, I am very fond of clear quartz. I love the energy that comes from it. I have a clear quartz pendulum which works really well. My first pendulum I made myself and it's with dyed agate and then these little like crystals from you know little plastic crystals. And then over here I have pyrite and hematite and in here I have some rose quartz chips. This is all rose quartz and then these are all Quartz. These are dyed. They're called crackle quartz. And if you, let me see if I can do this. If you look inside, they've been, um, they use a process where it just looks all crackly and sprinkly on the inside. It kind of reminds me of Rice Krispie treats. But I have a couple of them like this. Um, an orange. I have a pink one somewhere. I have it, I even have it in clear quartz. These I got in a bin at a gas station whenever we'd go on road trips. Uh, let's see what else. I have sodalite. I have bloodstone in here somewhere. Most of it... Oh, here's another crackle quartz. Most of it is agate and found stones. Um, I think this is sunite. This one here in the corner is moonstone. Um, that was pretty much it. I don't use, oh look, peacock ore. Peacock ore is one of my favorite. You can't tell on the video, but it has these beautiful purples and blues in it. You might be able to see a little bit of purple or blue in here. And I use, I have, um, chakra stones and a chakra pendant on, um, it's, another set of chakra stones uh, set into a a clear quartz point and the reason they're not in this video is because I left them at my ex-husband's house the last time I was there this past weekend and that was an accident but I don't have them with me right now maybe I'll show them in another video So, as you can see, while I do have a lot of crystals, I, I haven't really used many. I use quartz when I'm working with healing and things like that, but it's really rare for me to use it on a regular basis. I have to be thinking of something absolutely specific. And um, the only thing that I've been doing recently that, and literally recently, is the chakras. And that's why I have the chakra stones and the pendant. And it's because I've been having some issues with my chakras, especially my throat chakra and my sacral chakra. It was, my root chakra was okay for the most part, <laughs> but I've been working with crystals to help open uh, the ones that are closed and close the ones that are too open, not completely closed, but kind of close them a little bit. So, that's pretty much it. Ooh, sorry. Pretty much it. I love I I love rocks. I have loved stones since I was a really little girl. I had to be about six years old and I had my own rock collection of all the stones around the house. I have since lost that rock collection, but um, I start like I said, I got these crackle quartz out of bin in gas stations and we would go on road trips and that's where I would get these dyed agates from um, as well. It was just a complete, it's a bin full of stones. The hematites also came from there too. It was a bin full of stones and you'd get like a little velvet bag and you'd fill as much as you could in the bag and it was only for like a couple of bucks and that was how I got my stones and I gave some of my crackle quartz and agates 
um, that I had multiples of, like these, I had plenty of pink agates because I love and purple ones. And I gave them to my oldest daughter because she started her own rock collection. And I bought her a kit of um, stones, of different kinds of stones for Christmas and she loves them and I'm like really excited over that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. Brightest blessings. Bye.